Okay, here we are. Ms. Amida Salsia, Alice Jabana, and the Secretary General of the United Nations and Executive Secretary of ESCAP. Mr. Ove Samad, Deputy Executive Secretary of the UNFCCC, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, Swati Krap. On behalf of the Royal Thai Government, I would like to warmly welcome all participants to the Asia-Pacific Climate Week. This meeting is the last one of the series of regional climate weeks, which is organized before the United Nations Secretary General's Climate Action Summit 2019. In this regard, the next three days will be a vital moment to share our thoughts, add our voices, and provide essential inputs and contributions from this Asia-Pacific region to advance the global climate action. Climate change is the biggest threat to the sustainable development as it causes long-lasting and devastating impacts on all of its pillars, with relentlessly no sign of slowing down. The Asia-Pacific region is among the most vulnerable regions to climate change impacts. The Asia-Pacific Disaster Report in 2019 indicates that the region's economic loss due to the disaster is around 675 billion US dollars, and around 60% of it is from the drought-related agricultural losses in rural economies. The report also highlights that the increase in the number of the disasters is largely due to the increase in climate-related events, and that climate change is a key factor, making the situation more complex and difficult. Ladies and gentlemen, the Royal Thai government has prioritized climate change among its top national agendas. For Thailand, ambition means action, and enhanced ambition means enhanced implementation. Currently, we are making our best efforts to implement our NAMA, in which we have successfully accomplished a 12% greenhouse gas emission reduction in 2016. Compared to BAU in energy in transport sectors, which is already beyond our NAMA target. This bold action will continue in post-2020. To enhance our ambition under the Paris Agreement, we submitted our NDC with the econo economy-wide target of 20 to 25% compared to BAU. We have developed the NDC mitigation roadmap and sectoral action plan in energy, industry and waste sectors to expedite actions from the ground. At the moment, we are expanding our work to other sectors, namely agriculture, land use change and forestry, in order to explore further mitigation potentials. In addition to these mitigation efforts, adaptation shares equal priority. The National Adaptation Plan has been completed to ensure our climate action will leave no one behind, particularly those who are most vulnerable to the adverse impact of the climate change. We are working with relevant agencies to build capacity and raise awareness of private sectors and local authorities as they are the true champion of climate actions. Furthermore, we're in the process of formulating the Climate Change Act to provide a concrete foundation for long-term, consistent, and transparent legal architecture to enable collective, effective climate policy and actions. The Act will formalize government decision-making processes and institutionalize arrangement on climate change and will allow the engagement and participation by all stakeholders. At regional level, Thailand as a chair of the ASEAN in 2019 under the theme Advancing Partnership for Sustainability has been emphasizing on the implementation of strategic climate change measures in order to move ASEAN forwards, sustainable development. The ASEAN Joint Statement for Climate Action Summit is developed to express a strong political commitment of ASEAN member states in the support of this event. Ladies and gentlemen, our window of opportunity to stay below the threshold temperature limit is fast closing. This year is another critical moment, as countries are making their best drive toward achieving their pre-2020 commitment. Honoring and fulfilling the pre-2020 ambition is such an essential step for post-2020 actions. With this regards, allow me to remind everyone that ambition is needed on both 
action and support. Enhanced support is the key to unlock enhanced action, particularly for developing countries, to foster climate resilience and low greenhouse gas emission development. Only through real, real and collective action and strong collaboration among governments, local authorities, private sectors, civil societies, and international organizations will bring us closer to our climate goals. And only accomplishing these primary goals will enable the achievement of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the Sustainable Development Goals and the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction. Lastly, I wish you have a pleasant stay in Bangkok. And while you're here, please do not forget to take time to enjoy our natural and cultural attractions. We have many more to offer, not just this facility here. I wish you a success outcome. And let's start our action and send our message of solidarity of the Asia-Pacific region to the global community that saving our children and grandchildren from the consequences of climate change is possible. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, without further much ado, on behalf of all of us here, I would like to declare the Asia-Pacific Week open. Thank you very much. Thank you.